Gary, you're seven months into life at Six Ways. Let's start by looking back to last season, which saw us vastly improve towards the end of the campaign. What do you put that down to? Um, I think a collaborative effort. Obviously, uh, the club were in a little bit of a difficult position in about February, March. I did think that when we, when we, um, when we all got together, it was important that we were, we were all aligned and understood what we wanted to do in, with the run into the end of the season. Um, and, you know, with the help of, of uh, you know, the coaches like Carl and Simon and Sam and Meffin, um, I, I think we got a very clear direction. Um, and, um, and, and the guys bought into it really well. So, and obviously that we were, we were lucky that the hard work that they put in during the course of the week could resonate into a couple of victories on the weekend. So, um, yeah, hopefully more of the same. Pre-season's obviously been a bit different this year. Um, we understand you've put a lot more accountability on the, on the players. Tell us a bit more about that. Um, the fundamental bottom line is the players are going to be the ones who go out and play the game. So um, I do think that there is, is a potential in modern day sport to overcoach. Um, at the end of the day, these players are professional players because they understand how to play the game and they understand what it takes. Um, and so um, whilst I hopefully haven't been... Um, unbelievably blatant with it. I mean, there, there has been more of an accountability towards the players in terms of um, them running the show a little bit more. Um, obviously, we'll, ex we'll tell them what our expectations are, but the accountability comes in in terms of the quality of the training sessions. And I, I must say, to, to date, touch wood, um, this group have really responded very well. So the new campaign's almost upon us, and obviously the Premiership's going to be a, a, another, an extra tough one with London Irish back in the fold. What, what can we expect on the pitch this season? Well, I think you can expect a very tough premiership. You're quite right about that. Um, I don't think it's going to get any easier. The good teams are getting better. Um, and the teams at the bottom of the table are improving as well. Um, I hopefully, and, and I obviously hope that we're going to be one of them. Um, I'm feeling quietly confident uh, about our ability to improve on, on, on last year. Um, uh, but I'm also realistic, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm not for one second saying that I think we're going to shoot up the table to, to be in a top four team. Um, but I think that there were a lot of results last year in some difficult conditions where, where we either drew or lost, lost within seven points at the death. And um, it's critically important that obviously, hopefully, we try and change those results around and, and try and turn them in our favour. I think something else as well is, is I think we're good at home. Um, I think we've got, I really think we've got an amazing stadium. We've got at Six Ways and we've got a fantastic support base. And... Um, and, and, and I think a, a lot of the guys are really excited to be playing at home and, and hopefully trying to make Six Ways a bit of a, a fortress. Seven new guys have come in over the summer. Are you looking forward to seeing how they, they go out on the pitch? I am. I am. You know, it's a blend of, of, um, a blend of quality and, and youth, um, quality and experience and youth. Um, so it's quite a cross-section of guys that you're coming in. Um, nearly a 19-year age di di gap between the oldest guy coming in and the youngest guy coming in, so that's quite bizarre and unheard of. Um, but I am really excited. Um, I, I, I genuinely believe that this group of players really want to be here, um, and, and have shown and have shown that on the field. You know, from young Sam Olver, who's just come in, to to uh, the the hugely successful Ben Teo, who's just come back from Alliance Tour. So, you know, the enthusiasm's right throughout the squad and. I think that's a good starting point, uh, you know, for us to, to lead into the season with that kind of enthusiasm and excitement. Um, but, you know, we, we're fully aware that, you know, the campaign is going to be very tough and uh, we need a bit of luck with injuries. We've had a, a couple of blows that could have gone, could have gone our way and, and they haven't, but that opens an opportunity for the other guys to, 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 to get some game time. And, you know, guys like uh, Hugh Taylor and uh, uh, Matt Cox have really put their hands up and have, and have trained exceptionally well. So I'd love to see them transfer that onto the field. Very excited. Away from the, uh, the Premiership, how do you plan to approach the, the European Challenge Cup and the uh, Anglo-Welsh Cup this season? I just think that what we want to do here at the Warriors is, is be serious about every game that, that we play. We've got a smaller squad this year, quite substantially smaller. So um, the idea is for everybody to get a run and everybody to get game time. I think it's important if they've got a contract with us, you know, we, we, we owe it to every player that, that they get a substantial amount of game time. Europe's an important competition, um, f f in my opinion. Um, I think it's a competition where um, you can be successful. 
And so I'm excited about that. And, and um, I think we, what we will do is we'll have a, a, a bit of a mix and a blend in, in, the, in, those, in those competitions. Um, whilst, we, whilst we would most certainly take them seriously, um, I think it would be a good opportunity to, to, exp to also have a look and, and see and experiment with a couple of younger guys because I believe they're good enough to step up to the plate. And finally, what would be your, your message to the fans ahead of the new campaign? I think um, pretty much, Tom, along the lines of what we spoke about last year, um, I can't sit here, no coach can sit here and promise that we're going to win every game. But I would, I would really like to, to, to make a promise that, th that this team will pitch up week in and week out. Um, that they'll, they'll fight extremely hard um, for, uh, for our pride and, and, and for the ability to be as successful as we possibly can. And if we're beaten by a better team, then so be it. But, you know, I really, I, 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 I really want to say to the fans, come out because the team won't disappoint you in their courage and, and, and in their determination to be able to do well this year. And, and I think if we marry that up with, with accuracy, um, then I think we, you know, we, we, we could win a few more games than people expect us to. But, um, yeah, just the, the power and the importance of the supporters at Six Ways and when they travel to away games for us just can never be underestimated, um, especially in a, in a cauldron like Six Ways is as a stadium. You know, when we get a full house, as we did for uh, quite a few games last year, um, Bristol, Bath, Exeter, you know, it makes a huge difference for us and, um, you know, please continue to support us and hopefully we'll make you guys very proud.